Patious on the News is a monthly current affairs program on CTN that provides background and context for the events that affect our daily lives. Leslie McVeigh talked with host Harold Patious about this month's edition and why public access television is important to him. Well, Harold, uh, Patious on the News has been on the air for about four years now. And the guests you have are, are really exciting for us to watch because you ask them good questions and they respond and they are, they're people who are involved in the news and what's happening in our world today. Uh, one of your guests, the guest this month, is George Mitchell. And this is the third time you've had him on, one time by phone, and this is the second time when he's been live with you in the studio. Uh, tell us why you felt it was important to bring him back on the show. Well, I think George Mitchell has uh, the, most experience, uh, the most interesting experiences of anybody from Maine. Mm -hmm. uh, corporate world, at the top of the corporate world, at the top of politics as majority leader of the United States Senate, a former federal judge, a prosecutor, a Portland lawyer, baseball, Supreme Court, all these things. I mean, in fact, yeah. this last uh, uh, show we had, which is on this week, uh, I asked him point blank, did President Clinton actually ask you to go on the Supreme Court? And the answer is yes, and he discusses the conversations he had with President Clinton. And, uh, and I opine that probably there aren't many people, maybe two or three, uh, at least in the last century and a half in the United States, who a president has called and said, will you, I'd like to put you on the Supreme Court, who said no. So those kinds of stories are fascinating to people. And uh, in the case of Senator Mitchell, there's so much that not even these last two pieces that we've done, one-hour shows, really covers even 50% of the story. I'd like to get him back on at some point. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it really, in, a, in another sense, is a history of a person who will go down as one of the most significant historical figures mm -hmm. in the state of Maine. So uh, that's why I did it yeah. with him. Well, I also think that, um, you know, he did not accept President Clinton's proposal. Um, but because of that, he did so many things that wouldn't have happen perhaps that's true without his being involved in them but you know I've had other people on uh, you have three times I've had the uh, representatives of the Maine Heritage Policy Center mm -hmm. the uh, kind of right-wing uh, policy group here in Maine I've had them on three times and I mm -hmm. hope to have them on again soon right. I've had Mike Harmon who is a uh, who is a uh, extremely uh, conservative uh, I, I use conservative. They would use, if it was on the other side, mm -hmm. a more pejorative uh, term, right. communist or something. But he's <laughs> a very conservative guy and a nice guy. Right. I've had him on. I've yeah. had a lot of uh, conservatives. I've had the Tea Party people on twice yeah. now. Yeah. Well, before we came on the air, we were talking about balance. And I think with your show, you do try to find some balance with, with the people who come on the show. You don't lean one way or the other. You're, you're curious and you want to explore that curiosity. Well, all, all of these people in different places in the political spectrum um, have something important to say. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, use the word important again, important for all of us to understand what's on people's minds, right. no matter where they are in the political spectrum. And you chose Community Television Network to be your platform for this uh, discovery and exploration. Why and how is it helping you? It, well, it, of course, it, 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 it doesn't help me. I think that the, the difference is that on public access television, everybody who's watching wants to be watching. They're interested in ideas. Uh, they're interested in hearing from various people. These are not people who are just surfing mm -hmm. uh, the channels. They're people that want to learn about uh, 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 what others have to say. And that's what's great about public uh, access television. Uh, commercial television, I could never do uh, commercial television. First of all, I, uh, I'm not sure I could sell anything. And <laughs> that's what it's all about. Secondly, we have on this program, Patience of the News, one hour. And we let people talk. And a lot can come out in one hour, uninterrupted mm -hmm. by... Uh, 
commercials and things of that sort. So I think pu public access television, one of the great things that happened in America, that happened because of cable television, that gave uh, people the opportunity to create these stations. I, I think that for the public to speak, public access is the best channel. Uh, all of these, there's been a great consolidation of commercial radio and television stations in America. Yes. And they're all owned by just a few people. Yeah. And, and it, it, there's not much access right, for the right. public voice. No. And we are the public voice. And thank you. I would like you to come on and talk more about that um, at another time. I'm, ha I'm happy to <laughs> anytime. In the meantime, we'll watch your show. Thank you, Harold. Thank you very much. <laughs>